Now it's time for an ADC update. New month, also some new gear. In the packet I've got a brand new pen and wallet. I'll get to in a second. So as far as the update goes. Multi-tool, just today I lost the Swiss Tech. Hopefully it's in the van and I find it tomorrow. But uh, if not, I'm going to be using the Victorinox Swiss Tech. Not Swiss Tech. Swiss Tool. Spirit. Very sexy and sleek. Carried that the most. Haven't carried it this year though, but that's the most carried one. Perfect for ADC. Keys. Nothing's changed since the last video. Still got the Olight. I2R, no it's not, it's the I1R EOS, the original, and the titanium double barreled whistle. And that's it. Got my watch, which is a Casio. ERA 600. Edifice, the Casio GU100MC has had its strap washed yesterday and it's still drying and I still haven't gotten around to getting a new pin for the other one so I'm just wearing that. Phone, it's a uh, Huawei P series I think it is. It's a phone, it does phone things, who cares? And I've got a uh, the coin pouch, which has coins in it. And my wallet up until now has been the Trevax Element with the homemade wallet chain in the Maxpedition Keeper with the titanium carabiner on it. I had to replace that shackle because it actually came loose. There wasn't any key or anything on it. I just saw that little pin fall out. And the shackle was like lying. The horseshoe shaped part of the shackle was lying on there. So I didn't lose that. I didn't lose any key or anything. But that's enough for me to know it's not trustworthy. So this one, it's got a locking bin on it. So it's now impossible to lose keys. And that is my... Well, boring that is my personal ADC and the pen up until today has been the Maxpedition Spicata. So let's see what we're replacing it with. Should I do this now or go into the bag and then do this last? No, I'll do this now. So the pen, the investigator pen, stainless steel by Hinderer Knives, made in America. It's actually smaller than the Spicata, and the Spicata is a pretty small pen. Get the stainless steel one actually. So there's the hinderer next to the stainless steel spicata. It's actually a lot thinner and smaller lengthways. I thought it was going to be uh, longer. The spicata is a pretty small pen anyway compared to others. It's got a logo on there. Might buy the uh, flat end instead of having this pointy end on. And this has got the same screw off cap as the Spicatas and a space pen refill. I don't think the tri step on the Spicata will fit that. 
anyway. Wait, it won't because it's a smaller pen. Comes with the lowering. So that's the new pen. Actually, feels. I don't know. I was going to say it feels a bit cheap compared to the Spicata, but I'll stick that o-ring on. Don't know why it doesn't come with the o-ring already attached. Yeah, that's better. I was going to say that feels a little loose, so it feels a little cheaper than the Spicata. Much lighter as well, but it's smaller, so... It's also got a lot of milling done on it, which is going to reduce the weight as well. So that's my new EDC pen. I will get around to changing that tip for a fat one though. Like what I've got on the Spicata, the aluminium. Anyway, the wallet, it's a tray box, is the concha. <clears throat> Just got how to adjust and what it's got, feature wise. Mine was made by Mary L. There she is. Got mine in stainless steel. Comes with one of those. Carry that one for a bit. See if I like it more than the element. Also comes with a little wrench. Made in Germany. No expenses spared. I don't want to focus. So that is my new wallet. So my EDC bag, unfortunately the, I forgot what it is now, Pygmy Falcon is gone. The main zipper is failed as has the uh, the side or the front pouch zipper is also filled as well, so that's now gone. So the new bag, not really new, I've had it for a while, but I haven't carried it a lot. It's the 511 Rapid Sling Pack, and I'm also going to stick the 511 Rapid Waste Pack on it, just for added capacity. I just watched uh, Extraction 2 yesterday. And one of the guys had this bag, so I thought I'm going to carry mine, because why not? And the contents of this, got a new first aid kit. This one, store-bought obviously, pretty much as it came, because it came with a lot of good stuff in it. I've added one or two things, got some paracetamol, it came with the... Uh, Antiseptic first aid cream, microporous tape, instructions, a white open woven bandage, got some 
uh, blister plasters. I've added the tick removers. Came with some scissors, small tweezers. Came with burn soothe. Never used it before. Hygiene wipes. A couple of those. Got a crepe bandage. A load of fabric plasters. And just a few sterile adhesive dressings with different sizes. And that's it. Really good kit. Comes with a lot of stuff. Only added two items, like I say. So, got men's packet trousers. Berry Garter. I bought them way too big because I thought I would wear them over normal pants so I wanted them bigger but these are way too big I should have got the medium would have been perfect but whatever and I've got the waterproof jacket right here that I've stuffed into a small waterproof bag because I lost the cover for that got the old Goodman's power bank still working had it for two or three years now Charging cable for the phone, which also charges my GoPro. Got some super glue, always comes in handy. Stainless steel marker pen by Zebra. Hand sanitizer. Got some foam earplugs, protect the hearing for the lawnmowers and strimmers. I've got piercings in my ears and sometimes the earmuffs that come on the strimmer hard hat. I just take one of the piercings on the top so I just stick those in now. And I just use the strimmer hard hat for the visor. I'd also have safety glasses in there but I left those in the van that we weren't using today. Because that van's in for repair so we're using a different van and I left those in that other van so hopefully they're still there. Tomorrow, should get that van back tomorrow anyway. Got some sunscreen. Right in the rain notepad and my lunchbox. Not bother carrying water, I just buy that on the way up to jobs. And the last item is a hero clip by Gearaid. This is the mini. It's got a forty pound break and strain. Not just for hanging the pack. And so just laying it down on the dirt. And that is my EDC for this month. Definitely looking forward to trying out the new pen and wallet. So we'll see what these are like. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.